Lights out, Jason. Sometimes at night, I lie in bed and wonder about things, like light. Where does it come from? Why do we need light to see? I know there are different kinds of light. Natural light, you know, like sunlight, starlight, firelight, the light of a firefly. And artificial light, like light from a light bulb, a headlight, or a street light. But where do shadows come from? We've all seen shadows. At night, they can be kind of scary. But look around on a bright sunny day. Wherever the sun shines, things are in the light. On the other side, there are dark spots, shadows. Cars, trees, houses, and people have shadows. Anything that blocks light has a shadow. Ah, I am Gatukaja, the king of darkness. I am going to make everything dark. I am Rama, the king of light. We shall see who will rule the world. All right, you may begin. Good! Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Well, that takes care of him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> 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 we won't see him enough. Aha! <laughs> oh, yes. Get back, back. No, that, that. Ha, ha, ha. Well, there is only one solution. We shall rule the world together. Half the day will be ruled by darkness, and half the day will be ruled by light. What do you say? Half by day? And half by night. And so, according to legend, that is how the world came to have day and night. The end. What? Well, thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi! My name is Larry, and I'm the puppeteer that you just saw do the show. And this is the puppet I just used. It's a shadow puppet, of course. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you need light to make shadows. Light is the most important part of shadow puppets. Let me show you what I mean. I have some things to show you over here. To make a shadow, you need a shadow screen, and you need something that makes light. It could be the sun, it could be a flashlight, it could be your desk light. We'll use the electric light bulb over there. And you need something solid that will block the light. Let's use the shadow puppet. So I put the puppet behind the screen and in front of the light. It blocks the light, and that's how I get the shadow image. Now, if I move the puppet away from the screen and back to the light, what happens? Yeah. Mm, big. I can fill it up, and then I can move it back to the screen, away from the light. What happens? It gets small again. That's right. Now, this puppet comes from an island called Bali, and it's made out of leather. Leather's pretty solid stuff. What else is made out of leather? Shoes. Your shoes, that's right. And um, jackets can be made out of leather. Leather's very Pants. solid. Light, no light goes through leather. Pants. But you don't need leather to make puppets. I bet some of you have already made shadow puppets, and you know that you can use paper or cardboard. You might even use a paper plate. Now, if I put the plate behind the screen, it's solid, right? No light goes through it. We call something solid opaque. Can you say that? Opaque. That's good. Opaque. Solid. No light goes through it. But I want to make a face. So I drew a face with markers. And now I put it back there. No face. It's still solid, right? The light will not go through. So think, what do I have to do if I want to make see that face? You're right, I have to cut it out. So here's one I cut out today. 
I cut out the eyes and the mouth. I taped on a stick. This is the cardboard stick from a hanger. And I used other things from around the house, like this hair with some tinsel I had. And now, look what happens. Ah, a pump. Looks like uh, a pump. Yeah, so that's a cardboard puppet, opaque. The light does not go through the cardboard. But there are other kinds of materials. Sure there are. Here is a piece of clear plastic, right? And if I put this behind the screen, what do you see? The plastic. The plastic. It's clear. clear. You don't see very much, do you? Because it's clear. All the light can go through it, right? There's nothing to block the light. And we call that kind of material transparent. All the light can go through transparent materials. Now think a minute. What else do you know of that's transparent? What's one thing? Right over there. A window. A window. You're right, of course. You see right through a window. One more thing. What do you think? A glass. Glass, right. Like a drinking glass? Yeah. But there's still another kind of material. I have over here a piece of waxed paper. And if I put it to the screen, do you see anything? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. see something. It's a shadow, right? Yeah. Okay, it's um, a lot lighter than the plate. You see, the plate is solid. No light goes through. But the wax paper, some of the light goes through that. And we call it translucent. Translucent means some light can go through. Mm -hmm. Let's say I want to put a face on this. Well, I could draw a face. Yeah, you can. Here, I used a marker. Look, when I put this to the screen. Nothing. Yeah. 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 yeah, why is that? Well, you can see well, the paper is translucent, but the ink was opaque. The ink blocks the light. OK, so now once again, here we've got the wax paper, and that's translucent. OK, some of the light goes through it. And remember, we had the plastic? That's clear or transparent, because all the light goes through it. And the other thing I showed you was the plate. That's There's solid. No light goes through. It's <laughs> opaque. OK? You want to see one more puppet? Yeah! OK. I brought one, a special one, to show you. This one's really nice. Ooh, pretty. It's from China. Yeah. It's really a prince, OK? And I work him with these sticks. Let's see what happens when I put him in front of the light. Behind the screen, what do you see? Colors! That's right, he has colors because this puppet is translucent. Some of the light can go through it. The part of the light that gives us these beautiful colors. He's doing a dance. Yeah, that's right. The Exploratorium is a museum in San Francisco where you can paint with sunlight. Welcome to the Exploratorium. My name is Gabriel Stover. My job is to explain the unusual exhibits like this one called Sun Painting. Do you guys see all the different colors on the screen? Yeah. All the colors on this screen come from the light up there, sunlight. Did you know that sunlight is made up of all the colors of the rainbow? Gabrielle showed us how the sunlight comes through a hole in the ceiling and bounces off that mirror there, which shoots it across the room to that mirror over there, which reflects the light onto another mirror. Then the white light passes through a rack of prisms and bounces off another series of mirrors and finally appears on the screen in color. But how can white sunlight make all these colors? A prism is a neat way to break up the sunlight into all the colors of the rainbow. Inside this box are lots of different prisms. And a prism is a triangular piece of plastic or glass. Do you see the triangles? So a prism takes the white sunlight and breaks it up into all these colors. What colors do you guys see? Green, purple, red, Right. As light travels through the prism, the prism separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow.
So this is another shadow puppet. This one's from oh. India. Yes, he's got 10 heads. Wow. Mm, his name is Ravina. And you have probably all made the oldest kind of puppet in the world. And that's a shadow puppet with your hands. Have you done that? Yeah. Well, I'll show you what I mean. Now, some of you know this one. What if I put my hands like that? What do you think I'm going to get? A bird. A, let's a bird. see what this looks like. What do I have? It's a bird. It's a bird. Yeah, see, I can I make a you. bird. There's oh, lots of different puppets you can make with your hand. Here's another animal. That one's spider. A spider. I just wiggle my fingers and I've got my spider. I could make it big like before. And I could make, um, well, let's see. Here's a. What do you think that is? A duck, or if I change my duck a little bit, I might get an elephant. See an elephant? Oh, here's a harder one. That's something you might find in the woods. A deer, or um, let's try a jackal, which is like a wolf. What kind of a sound do you think he would make? That's right. That's great. He's got you now. Jason, what are you doing? Just an experiment, Mom. Well, you can finish your experiment in the morning. It's time for bed. Good night, Jason. Good night. <laughs>